Hey guys, it's Wee Helper 99 and if you've been watching my other videos, you might have seen that they're mostly for the week. But now, I'm gonna start making iPod Touch videos. It doesn't mean I'll stop uh, making Wii videos. So first, uh, I'm, today, I'm gonna show you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 2.2.1 and only for 2.2.1. So first, you would download this thing called Quick Freedom and this, uh, iPod Touch firmware, which I'll put in the description, and also the download link for this. So first off, you would open up iTunes. Now you would hold, hold, shift, and click restore at the same time. Now you would browse for the restore. You click open, and it's gonna restore your iPod. I already did it, so yeah. So once it's gonna, when it's finished restoring. Uh, you would uh, open Quick Freedom, and now once you uh, once you open it, it's gonna show you an option between quick, uh, jailbreak your iPod. Click on that. Now it's gonna say this: the jailbreak. You make sure you have lib USB, which is this. Uh, I have a check mark, so it's installed. If it's not, you would install it, and then it's gonna find the original 2.2.1 firmware. So if it doesn't show that, you browse for it in, uh, on your desktop or wherever you saved it. So now, once everything is checked and this and there's gonna be something that they're gonna do here is done, uh, you should see this iPod connected in normal mode, which my iPod is connected. You press next. Here, it's gonna it's gonna tell you it's gonna create your custom firmware. So that's gonna say install installer, put a check. It will also install CDS. It will also install CDS. So don't uh, don't worry. Now it says use custom boot local. If you want, yeah, you could do it. I picked this one, or you could use your own. Browse for it. So uh, I picked that. So you press OK if you want that one. Then you cr then you press create firmware. It'll take five to ten minutes, and once you're done that, you press next. Now you uh, you would need to put your iPod in the DFU mode. So this is what you would have to do. You would like uh, the you would go to DFU instructions. You would hold your t turn off your iPod. That means turn it off black, and then pull it out for 15 seconds. And uh, then it's gonna for 15 seconds. Now you would plug your iPod while holding the home and power button. So you plug it and then you hold the home and power button for uh, 10 seconds. You keep holding it, which is the one at the top, not the not the volume, the one at the top of the volume. And then after 10 seconds, you will let go of that and start holding the the home button, which is the square. 10 seconds. Now you release the home, and now it would say I. Uh, it says that, but because I would I didn't do it, it's gonna say iPod connect in DFU mode. Once once that's done, you press start pre jailbreak. Once that's starting, you, your iPod will turn white. Then you press next, and then now it says. Now that your iPod is green white, open iTunes to restore your your custom firmware. A uh, hold shift let's restore and find. Okay. So this we don't need anymore. You open up iTunes again. Now it has the new firmware. Now we're gonna hold shift again and click on restore. And there you go. Now you would click on your custom firmware. You open it and then it's gonna install Cydia and uh and uh, installer with you if you put the boot logo and it'll do that and then after like about 20 or 10 minutes it's it's basically done uh, your iPod will now be jailbroken uh, yeah this is uh, like uh, my first iPod touch video and uh, please uh, please comment and subscribe bye